Hey, it's Dave the Butterfly Guy here. It's mid-October in Minnesota, and I thought it'd be a great time to give you a little update on what's going on at the end of the season with my garden, what flowers are still in bloom, what have gone to seed, and you know what we need to just kind of let rest out through the winter and trim them back in the spring. So um, I'll talk about a couple of the butterflies I've still seen in October in Minnesota here, but let's get on with it. It's just a beautiful day sunny mid 50s in the high 30s this morning but nice crisp fall day so let's start with looking at the plants that are in bloom all right let's start with these new england asters so these are beautiful flowers they bloom late in september all the way through october into the freeze so they're one of the few attracting pollinator plants i still have in bloom so here's one of the plants then i have another one over here They have these beautiful purple flowers. So I recommend having a couple New England asters in your yard for late in the season blooming. Down behind me, I have some sedums. So those are another flowers like the New England asters that bloom late in September, mid-September through October. And so I've got a few of them still in bloom. And then in front of it, I've got some parsley and dill. Got some fennel in the background there, nice and tall. And I wanna show you what's going on on the parsley right now. So here I've got black swallowtail caterpillars. And you can see they're still pretty small. I've got one here and I've got another one here. So these are just in the maybe first or second instar. So they've got a ways to go and hopefully they can make it to a chrysalis before it freezes the black swallowtail caterpillar. All right, here's my metal liatris chowed off by the rabbits. I planted a bunch of them. I only have really this one that I put under a basket, a little golf ball basket that's protected it from the rabbits. It didn't grow very tall. These things will get four feet, five feet tall. And hopefully in year two, that'll create a lot of uh, flowers from the liatris plant for the monarch butterfly. So here I have the Bluebeard Caryopteris. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. I'll spell it down below. But it bloomed in late September. It's been blooming throughout October here. And I've just planted these this year and they have really nice blooms and they've been attracting a lot of bees, a couple butterflies. So the Bluebeard Caryopteris. The next and last flower I'm going to talk about here is the zinnias. So they've been in bloom since July. So I just feel like this is one of the great flowers to have in your garden. It's an annual. So I plant them by seed every year, get all these blooms. I've seen monarchs on them. I've seen black swallowtails, so all kinds of great butterflies here in October still taking advantage of the zinnias. So if you don't have those in your garden, Get those in your garden. All right, now let's look at some of the things that are in seed, and especially I'm gonna focus in on the milkweed. I'm gonna start with the common milkweed. It's in, the seeds are popping out of the pods and they're blowing all over. So I wanna show you some of those. And then we'll go to the butterfly weed and then the world milkweed. So let's look at these seed pods. So here's some common milkweed seed pods. You can see the pod has opened up and now it's just this fluff with, you know, each of these have a little seed at the bottom of it. So those will blow away and hopefully plant uh, some more common milkweed. Definitely have some additional pods for the common milkweed just waiting to pop open. So those probably got another week or so. Then here's some butterfly weed. So here's a seed pod that's popped open you can see all the seeds here got some additional seed pods on this butterfly weed so that'll hopefully help me get a little more butterfly weed in my garden i love that plant to attract monarchs oh here's some more that has all kinds of great ones just starting to pop open all right then lastly i have this world milkweed Look at it, it's got these really narrow leaves. And look at the pods on these are also super narrow. 
So it's my second year with World Milkweed. I got no Monarch Caterpillars on them this year. They did bloom, or at least a couple of them bloomed, but I was excited to see all these seed pods. And it looks like a couple are starting to break open here. And so hopefully I can get some more World Milkweed for the Monarchs for next year. So this part of my gardens where I had Leatris, purple cone flowers, butterfly bush, they're pretty much all done blooming. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just let it sit over the winter and create some protection for insects and different pollinators that need to overwinter and give them some nice space to do that. And I'll clean it up a little bit in the spring as I get ready to plant some new flowers. All right, so I've showed you some flowers still in bloom. I love the New England asters. I love zinnias. And then even the sedums are a great late time of the season plant that will give you some pollinating flowers still. So let your garden rest this time of year. Clean it up in the spring, not in the fall. Give the insects a spot to overwinter. Um, look for those seed pods. Grab some seeds and plant some additional seeds for your milkweed plants. So that's all I got today. It's Dave the Butterfly Guy and a beautiful blue sky in Minnesota, mid-October. Have a great day.